Before an update gets rolled out to Foxhole, the developers will first deploy a development branch so the community can test out the new gameplay mechanics and balance changes that are coming with the next update. To participate in the development branch, we open up Steam, we go to our library and we scroll down to Foxhole. We right-click on Foxhole and in the drop-down we left-click on Properties. In the Properties panel we left-click on the Betas tab and in the drop-down menu we select a Dev Branch Player Testing Environment. Once we selected that we can close the Properties panel. And in our games list, we can see that Foxhole now says in brackets behind Foxhole a dev branch. This indicates that Steam is downloading the dev branch and changed the build of Foxhole to the dev branch build. When Steam is done downloading, we can click on a Foxhole and go to the game page. We then select a play to go to the actual game. In the main menu, in the top right, we make sure that the shard that we have selected is a dev branch. So to check that, we go to the change button and in the list, we select a dev branch. Once we have dev branch selected, we can hit play. Since the development branch is separate from the live war, we get to choose our faction again. So choosing your faction in development branch has no repercussions for your faction choice in the live war. You choose a site, you hit deploy, and once you hit deploy, you will load up on home island. Development branch works the same as in a live war, you spawn on home island, you go to the state of the war tent to pick a map where you can test what you want to test. Let's say you want to have a coal and salvage to test out facilities, you find a map that has that, in this case, a speaking woods. We run towards the deployment point, we press E to open the deployment map and we select a time to spawn. The development branch usually comes with a dev branch specific setting, so usually the time it takes for bases to upgrade to small and large garrison is accelerated. The time for concrete to cure is usually accelerated as well, as are the production times in facilities and the respawn timers for anybody who dies are reduced. Also, in most dev branches, we have access to magic boxes, and magic boxes are like the normal boxes with one difference, and that difference is that they will duplicate anything you put in the first slot of the magic box. To make a magic box, you need five basic materials. You press one to equip your hammer, you press B to open the build menu, and in the base category in the first row, the second item is the magic box. We left click to have the blueprint underneath our mouse cursor. We then left click to place the blueprint. We walk up to it and hammer in the five basic materials. To start duplicating items, we press E to open the inventory of the magic box. And now if we left click on anything in our backpack, it will go to the first slot of the magic box. And as we can see, the magic box will start duplicating the item that is in the first slot into the next slot. If we want to change the item it is duplicating, we can simply uh, click on the item in the first slot so it goes back into our backpack and select any other item in our backpack and click on it. That will automatically go into the first slot and as we can see, the magic box will continue to duplicate the things that are put into the first slot. Same applies if we want to change it again. We click on the basic materials, bring it back to our backpack, click on the HE grenade and it goes into the first slot and we can see that the magic box is now duplicating HE grenades. When the development branch is live on the Foxhole official Discord, there will be separate dev branch channels opened so you can leave your feedback and report your bugs that you find on the development branch. I will leave the link to the Foxhole official Discord in the description.